And now, Harris Puppets presents another story. A dark and desolate tale, guaranteed to scare the living daylights of you. Today I relate the tale of Peter the Werewolf. Peter is a boy. He wants to be a werewolf, but he couldn't find any books on how to become a werewolf, neither at the library or at school. Then the mailman showed up. If I was looking for a hobby called Werewolf, check out the house on Culver Road. You never see anyone working the road. Road it's always empty. Even the house never fits it. Thirteen. Who lives there? Mr. Wolf, no one in town. The mailman drew off the mailman. I had a hobby of werewolf. Oof. I'll go there there after I do my chores. Well, packing up the pumpkin bags took longer than I had thought. So we're up there. A horde moves in the sky. All the street lights were on. And even the cats that seemed to be caught night would seem to be missing. Pierre thought, Why didn't I stay home tonight? There was that MTV you know, monster party. Or that Frankenstein movie on Tal 17. You could be home with hot buttered popcorn, not scared. Seen so the house. There were signs of war said, Enter at your own risk. He knocked at the door. There was a werewolf at the door with light fangs. Yes, can I help you? Help, the werewolf! Said the werewolf morphed into a, his human form. The paws became hands. The, the wolf's face became a human face. And the earth appeared. Yes, I meant to tell you that I am a werewolf. I meant to tell people earlier, but my, I wouldn't deal with this. You know some things. Funny, said Peter. I thought I was the only one. And so he was transfixed at the full moon in the sky. And instantly, they morphed into wolves. They both morphed into werewolves. And he allowed a in the sky! And that was our story, Peter the Werewolf. Pretty scary, huh? Huh? This is Ted Hero's over and out.